Actually, it's a pleasure for me to be a part of this uh, beautiful app. I always, always talk to all my fans on Insta, and I have many groups actually uh, in Insta where you have these young kids who are like sixteen, seventeen, and they are talking to me about their exams. They're talking to me about their life and how they're struggling, the teenage. So for me, it's such a brilliant thing that I'm getting a platform where I can actually talk to them one on one because sometimes it's difficult. These websites like Insta or Facebook doesn't allow me to go onto that level because you know you have so many pages, you have so many people on Insta. So sometimes it's really, really you don't actually realize who are the important ones and who are actually your real fans. So uh, it's giving me a platform. It's going to be much more private, uh, and I'm also going to be uploading all the exclusive pictures and videos and behind the scenes. So that's going to be fun. We also have a lot of cool contests. So you know, like through contests, we can also make sure like you know these are the top three ranking fans, and I would love to meet them as well. So we have a lot of cool concept, and I'm really really excited, and I'm very happy that I'm a part of it, and I'm actually uh, doing something like this because this would give me uh, a closer reach to my fans and actually friends. Uh, I don't want to call them fans, friends. So yeah, if I am launching an app, मेरे पे बहुत responsibility है that you know I have to make sure that I talk to them because what's the motive of the app? If I can't take out time for people who are actually loving me so much and giving me so much love, then it won't work. End of the day, it's all about interaction and you know knowing those people who love you so much and support you. So I think it's it depends from person to person how much time you give, how much love you give, you'll get it back. I feel uh, we have a lot of contests that I don't know that. Other apps had. No, you you no. will you agree? No, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we have a lot of contests, and you know through contests you you can always come to know that who's your biggest fan, you know, and you can also send them merchandise. You can also send them gifts which are personalized, and I can also meet them, which is a cool thing because you know you can you can throw a contest, but what do you see on Insta or Facebook? You don't have these kind of things where you can actually meet. Your fans. So through the contest, if you win the contest, if you're actually a real fan, you can actually also meet me, and I would love to do that because you know I would li- like to know how these people are, how these kids are, and uh, there's also a lot of uh, yeah. I yes. think that's the mo- one of the key things. Like I mentioned before, is the fact that uh, you will have as a as a fan, you will have the ability to pin your post so that Disha can see it. You can't do that anywhere else. Okay. Second. You can't earn virtual currency anywhere else. So these are key elements, right? I mean, if I'm spending time there, I mean, I can tell you there are uh, there are people who spend hours and hours on the app and comment, and uh, they may they may get into the like, instas and the twitters and the facebooks of the world, but they don't gain anything out of it, right? It's just a one-way street. Here, not only you are gaining virtual currency, but you are also have the ability to put yourself up there, pin your post so that Disha can see it, and then get a reply from Disha. You don't have it anywhere else, and That's that's the most unique thing about it. And once you read, as I said, that I always speak to my fans, and I have these crazy groups and crazy kids talking to me every day. I speak to them. I make sure at least I send them a heart or a hi or a morning or a night. So every day I'm still doing the same thing. But sometimes I feel okay. I'm only speaking to people who are my fan clubs. So right now I don't know. Okay, someone who can't make a fan club right now. Won't have that reach because I won't know that that person also like takes me as an idol or is a crazy fan of mine. So I'm still doing the same. I think yeah, it's a bigger responsibility for sure. But I have a team for that. So that's why I have a big team. I have a responsible team. So I think that will be helpful. If I'm writing down something and this is my idea or this is my imagination, it won't be a fact. So if I start taking it so seriously that okay this person thinks like that of me or whatever and if I take it as a fact that this is me and I take it as a reality that whatever this person is saying about me is me but it's not the fact so it's fine I do respect everyone who have opinions about me that's fine but it doesn't affect me because I know that's not the fact because people might might know not know me so like personally So that's okay. Hi. So I wanted to ask, since you're a public figure and you're a celebrity, and you can see that there are cases that, you know, when a celebrity shares everything, almost everything on social media, there's also the cause that uh, there are stalkers. So how is this app preventing you from those stalkers? Because then you never know. I'm a fan, but I'm also a stalker. I'm getting the when I I so I'm so sorry. Isn't If you're a fan, you're a stalker. That's the thing. Yeah. If I like someone, I stalk that person. Access. 
Oh, uh, see, it depends. There's always a fine line between your personal life and a fine line between your professional line. So I'm not breaking that line. Okay, I'm gonna be super friendly and I'm gonna be expressing, but there's always there's always gonna be this fine line for my privacy.